Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and sometimes I talk about Nerf blasters, and sometimes I talk about Busby blasters, and sometimes I talk about homemade blasters, but you know what I really don't talk about or give too much credit to? Dart Zone blasters and X-Shot blasters, and that's kind of sad because those are all really great, and there's a lot of awesome options out there from those companies that are way more affordable than some of the previously mentioned models. And one of them, what we're going to talk about today, is the X-Shot Reflex 6. As a base blaster, it's cheap, it comes with a lot of darts, it's got uh, good stock performance, and as I'm going to talk about today, some pretty good mod potential as well. So, this one in particular, this X-Shot Reflex 6 has 7.5 coils of K25 spring inside of it. It has a custom printed skeleton cylinder right here that you see in blue, and the barrels are four and a half inches of polycarb tubing. This blaster in particular was given to me during FoamCon during End War by my good friend Kyle, AKA Caldub. You probably have heard his name before because he made the dual fish that I have featured on my channel and I used to a lot of extent in the past month or so. And he handed this to me and said, go have fun with it, shoot at people, you know, as most nerfers will do. And I mean, that's kind of all I have to say about it. Obviously the only thing that's really different is <laughs> cosmetically you see this barrel's a little bit longer than the stock form and inside there's some massive spring potential. But this thing, I mean, just a quick thought on the Reflex 6, feels decently comfortable for me, maybe maybe a little small, but perfectly reasonable. My, my finger actually goes perfectly at rest like that. And it's uh, really easy to aim. That's pretty solid. And the cylinder does, in fact, still rotate. It's a hefty-ish draw, but for me, it's possible to do that pretty quickly, so I uh, can't complain about that. So what I'm going to do today is just show you me chronographing this as well with a handful of darts that I have because I just got a chronograph, so I might as well put it through its paces. Um, so I'm gonna use some community darts and do that. And then I have some gameplay footage with this from our last game, showing you just what it can do uh, that said, I wasn't using the same dart every time, so sometimes they were accurate, sometimes they were not, because that's life when you're scavenging at the end of the day. But this was really fun to use, and I wanted to show you what it was capable of. So let's get to some chronographing stuff, and then we will get to some gameplay. We'll start with full-length darts, so here are AccuFakes loaded flush with the cylinder, full lengths. Next up, some universal suction clones, full length. These ones are sticking out a little bit further. They're also feeling pretty tight. But about the same performance, honestly. Moving to half lengths, we'll start with these Z-tips and uh, I'm gonna ramrod each of these in, which is obviously not the fastest thing to do in a game. Next up, same thing, except this time the Z-tips are only pushed in just as far as my finger goes, so this would be the on-the-run reload. I need to learn how to count to six. Oh man, what do you say to that, Mr. Jolt? <laughs> Not much. Good news, everyone! I'm gonna start playing now. I had no idea how far this shot. I was totally aiming at him. Look out, backside. Oh, Yeah. Friggity frat. Yeah. I don't like that. Shoot. Ferns! Hooray! Run! Run like heck! Oh, okay. They're coming along the left! 
in the bush. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? That sound? Yeah. <laughs> What's the last thing you hear before you die? Is that? Oh. Punch. 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 Oh, that will do it. You don't tell me what I can and cannot do. Big point center, they've... Oh wait, no, red is us. Oh, sorry. I swear it's the dart. That's an opinion. I know, it's just through windows. Oh! Actually mortifying. Whoa. <laughs> I don't like this. <sighs> Kyle, same guy who did my dual fish. Yeah, I like it. It's it's hard to get used to it with the variety of darts I'm putting through. That oh, said, man. it's I, fun. There's three people left in that window. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Which is, I, I'm trying too, man. It's not working. There's a shield in there. Yeah. So it's, it's not working. Yeah. I'll fill it up. Got him. Nice. I, I swear I got him on the neck. Yep. Good hit. A little, little. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it. Center flipped. Okay, sweet. Oh, all right. Losing point. Oh, she barely moved. So in conclusion, I just wanted to say thank you again to Kyle, aka Cal Dub, for giving me this awesome blaster at End War because he gives me so much cool stuff and I don't really give him anything else in return. He's so kind to give me these crazy monstrosities of blasters for me to play with. And uh, also thank you Zuru Xshot, you know, for making blasters like this that have uh, some really good mob potential. And I personally really like the white with like blue and green. I like that their general white um, like spacey color scheme. If you've noticed, a lot of my custom blasters are typically white. I like that look of them, even if they get a little bit dirty. It makes it obvious that they're toys as well. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know what's your favorite X-Shot blaster if you have one. I definitely want to play with more of them down the road, and I feel kind of bad that I have not given them too much time on my channel because they're really awesome. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you later.